the question, well, how long will this hold? I mean, because it's immediate. The, the effects are immediate. And the, the nice thing is, is that people can experience a change on the spot because we're tightening battery cable. So people walk out of a session stronger than they walked in. And muscles are able to fire, they're able to contract, and they're able to function more efficiently. And many times when they're able to function more efficiently, the pain goes away. And so they leave feeling good, and then the, they could come back and somebody could, I mean, some people, depending on the integrity of their neuromuscular system, some people you jumpstart their body, jumpstart the weak muscles, and you send them away and they never have a problem again. Other people, they come back and say, you know what, I felt better for about a day, and uh, but after a day I went back to my normal routine and my knee pain came back. It's, it's because it's about tolerance level. And it's about how much force can these muscles tolerate. So the weaker somebody is from a neurological standpoint, the weaker they are, the lower their tolerance levels are. And that means that progressively they have to continually raise tolerance levels so that, so that this process can hold better. And every time we jumpstart the muscles and tighten the battery cables, it raises the tolerance levels of those muscles. So early on, some people with low tolerance levels, it may not hold as well. But the more they come in and get repeated sessions and repeated treatments, the more we raise the tolerance levels so they can tolerate the forces that are being placed on their body in everyday activity, and then they can start to heal. So how long does it hold is dictated by the integrity of their neuromuscular system and really how inflamed their body really is.